So um, I'm gonna be showing how to get pretty much unlimited diamond gear and tools. It's very simple. Um, you'll need well, you'll need to find a village, or you can simply heal two zombies, um, and have them breed. But I found this village, but I need to have time to build the proper protection so they all die so I had to repopulate um, the best way you can do so is to build um, this kind of factory right here where you put a bunch of dirt and pretty much seeds and you put a bunch of beds around so if um, if you want to have more villagers and right now what you can do is you can add a bunch of beds which I'm gonna go get the oh never mind okay I have some here so I'm gonna add a, a bed I'll add a second one all right so if you add more beds then there's more rooms for more villagers and they will understand what it means so what you can do is you give bread and they should start breeding I'll just make more just in case oh there we go okay there we go so one of one of the hearts are cracking. Be that's because there weren't enough beds, and there was only one bed. Oh, there, there's a second one. Okay, so I added two beds, so they couldn't add a third one. So there you go. So the more beds you have, the more population they'll start making. So that's the first step. The second step would be to build um, a kind of warehouse where you have your villagers in rooms. So what I like to have is a sign identifying their trades. Um, so these guys are librarians, so they offer you... Jesus, okay, hold on, sorry. This is loud. Uh, okay. So you have a little room like this with a bed and with their workstation. And they're gonna be here, and can, you can keep trading with them. One thing you can do is that if you want to directly get the trade you want, is without trading with them. If you trade with them, well, well, you won't be able to do it. Is that you keep breaking their work, their workstation, and you keep placing it, and you keep breaking it until you get the trade that you want. So at some part of the day, depending on the time, it won't work, but the majority of the time, it will. And But once you trade with him, you cannot change his job or whatever. Um, you can get some pretty good uh, enchants with that method. Um, so I have this dude right here. Uh, he sells manning for 14 emeralds, which is pretty good. good. Um... So yeah, so what I did with him is I kept breaking and replacing un until I got the mending trade and he unlocked all the others by just every time I kept trading the mendings. Um, another thing that's pretty sweet is that you can get mending, but if you go up here, where is he? If you go up here, okay, yeah, so this dude, he has like a blast furnace, which is gives him the job of armor so you first start start trading him like for shitty gear uh then he will start giving you diamond things and if you don't like the enchantment you can always disenchant it with like the uh the new block um i forgot its name but um the smith whatever i forgot its name but you can disenchant them it's super easy so you can add protection for whatever you need and yeah, I have a protection free guy here, uh, a power of five. Yeah, so I can pretty much buy my armor from here and apply the protection on him. So you may ask, well, all that gear is going to cost a lot of emeralds and it's going to 
be more time consuming than, than digging diamonds? Well, I beg to differ and I will, okay. I will show you how, um, the way I get all my emeralds is the second step. Oh yeah, and if you want to drag a villager in the building you're making, um, they they'll be uh they'll be sleeping in their beds, so you want to place another bed. And uh, here I can show you with this guy. So I can pick up this bed. I'll break this door, and I can put a bed here. And or let's say this room is vacant. I just put a bed in here, and he will go for this bed because it's night time so if I break his bed he will automatically go inside um, there you go so now let's say if I have a room upstairs well I, I put a bed upstairs over here I'll break this one and he'll go upstairs and that's how you get them in a specific room uh, yeah so the second step is just ignore like the big tower thing I got going on there. I tried to build something cool, but it just looks like shit. Um, so this is the second step, which is building an iron generator. Um, as you can see, it's it gives a lot of iron. Um, and if you just remain close to it, or actually, even if you stay in the village right here, they'll keep spawning, which is pretty sweet. So, if you want to say AFK in a room like this, it can work, but honestly, you can start building shit and it will like automatically like farm a lot of it. Um, so, yeah, the I'll link in the script in the description the video of like the model I'm using, but it's pretty cheap and it's uh, very rewarding. So what do you do with that iron is that you um I'm not going to go into details because the guy explains it better and I don't want to I don't want to take credit for it but here he comes he's going to fall and then there's like a lava block and then he's going to burn. So pretty much what triggers this is the game thinks that these guys are a village and they're being attacked by a zombie who has a name tag so he doesn't despawn. So that's the base, but I'll link the video in, this, in the description. Um, so now what you do with it is, is that you grab the, you grab the iron, um, okay my inventory is a mess, you want to grab the iron and what you do with it is that you you go up to these villagers or any villagers that are using this workstation, which is the uh, the toolsmith. So this is like the tool you use to disenchant your armor, which you can do from like the armor you bought from there. But what you do is that you trade the iron that you took from there, you trade it back to them, and they'll give you emeralds and their cooldown. Like right now they don't want anymore, but their cooldown is takes next to no time. So this one's this one's uh full. Um this one wants one. There we go. Um who else? Where's the third guy? Alright, I think they're all full, whatever. I'll just go to my other set. Oh yeah, and if you wanna, okay, this wasn't in the video that the guy showed, but I built a, this little station that I can walk on and go to trade with them. If you wanna build this, make sure it's like a half slab, otherwise the golems will spawn on it instead of these, because mobs cannot spawn on slabs. So I'll just go here, get more emeralds, abuse the shit out of them, completely rip them off from iron that it is spawning because they exist and because I put them in this situation. Uh, there we go. So I just made 60, I just got 60 emeralds from doing absolutely nothing. And now, which thing, now for, which is pretty simple, you go back to your, um, 
you go back to your work to your uh, facility area. No, you want to go back to the to the guy who's like an armor smith. Uh, there he is. And here you go, Ven. Here, I can buy a full set, I think, with this. No, but almost. But it's, you see, with all the iron I got and all the um, the things, all the iron, all the um, all the emeralds that it gives me, and with that machine, you'll never, you'll, well, you you will never have to mine iron ever again. Like we just walk past them all the time. So it's not just armor that you can get. Like diamond armor. If you look at these guys, I think yeah, that's a that's a toolsmith. They sell diamond tools, and look at this. This is like an efficiency, um, like um, diamond shovel. It just it just removes sand blocks and dirt blocks like very fast. I'll just show it like real quick to you guys. Uh, it's a creeper. All right. So here's my shovel, here's the scent. Alright. Yeah, and I can get the mending book from like that villager on the first floor, so that's how you abuse the shit out of Minecraft pretty much and you'll never have to mine for diamonds again. Um, so, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer you guys. And for now on, uh, stay safe, stay indoors, don't spread the virus around, and have a good night.